Fast welcome Mets in the clash of the promoted sides and even at this early stage of the season had the feeling of a cliched six pointer. The home side had just one win to their name and after three consecutive draws were giving a pasting by Monaco 4-1 just seven days prior. That saw Brest 18th in the table, one place below Metz on goal difference. The Vitzers having earned four points in the last two outings with a win at struggling Saint-Étienne and last week's dramatic draw at home to Toulouse. Vincent Ognon taking some early notes as he plotted what he hoped would be at least a third match without defeat for the first time this campaign. Olivier de Olio looking to continue what was a fine home record, unbeaten in their four games at the Stade Francais Le Play since ending their six-year absence from the top flight. And they made the dream start. 11 minutes in, Julien Fossurier making the most of Johan Kors' terrific cross, ghosting in at the back post and slotting home comfortably. Well, an assist in his past two appearances, this time turning goal scorer. Well, visiting captain Renaud Coad tried to get his side back on level terms, stinging the hands of Donovan Leon. But it was Johan Kors at the other end who was proving too hard to handle. Another sumptuous delivery, and Jean-Charles Castelletto with the goal. Begging to be headed. And the youngster doing just that, his first Liga Cup for a goal in his eighth appearance. It took 29 appearances in Domino League 2 to net. Pouring rain, but the Brest fans not caring. The home side in full control as Dalolio aiming for a fifth match unbeaten at home with a second victory in that sequence. Mess did win on their last visit to Le Francais Le Blay in Domino League 2, but hadn't won in the top flight here since 1984. Well, Samuel Granser slipping as he struck towards Alexander Ukija. Well, Abid Diallo was the joint top scorer coming into week 9 with 6. Might have beaten the goalkeeper, but the post was another story. Terrific effort. Very unlucky. That seemed to be the best that Mess were going to produce. And Gaetan Charbonnier could have put a final seal on the match. Just too much elevation on his strike. Mess became desperate in the end. In the knowledge they would hit bottom of the table if Saint Etienne won the Ron Derby. Press continuing their impressive home form, unbeaten at Le Blay on their return to the top flight, up to 12th, although still only three points above the bottom three.